the hate army troll. Big it's the hate, hate army. army, bro. The hate army. Shout that out guy. to hate. hate. Good vibes to the hate. Shout out to 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 hate. Shout out for hate. I gotta give you guys a big heads up. This one will actually directly affect all of us here. Are you ready for this? This is a very important news story. All right. So I received a message this morning from YouTube. Okay. This message is in regards, supposedly, to the future of advertisements on YouTube. All right? So basically, here's the deal. YouTube always has given you full freedom to control all of the advertisements that run on all of your content. And what I mean by that is you can choose... It's usually after the fact, by the way, and I should clarify there. If you upload a video to YouTube... You can monetize it. Then once that video uh, has been fully processed, all right, you can then actually specifically choose where and how many specific advertisements you'd like to place on a particular video. Usually, people just let it be automated. I do. I upload so much content, there's no way with, you know, all the content I'm uploading that I could just sit here and hand curate each advertisement and place it perfectly on the video. I allow YouTube to determine where they want to put the advertisements on my content. So usually that's a pre-roll, meaning before the video starts, there's an ad. Then usually there's a couple mid-rolls, meaning somewhere during the video by a predetermined you know, formula or algorithm that runs, it tries to figure out the best places to place advertisements. And then after the video ends, there's usually a post-roll. All right, that's usually how it works. Now on my streams, it's a little different. On my streams, I actually don't control what ads you see except for when I want to do an actual scheduled ad break. Okay, so for example, when this stream started today, I have no idea if any of you saw an ad. Did I should ask the question right now. For everyone here, we have over 400 viewers, by the way. Wow, thanks for the viewership today. How many of you saw an advertisement when you turned on the stream today? Did any of you see a, a, an advertisement at all? Because I actually don't know how it works. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You did see one when it started. I didn't. I did. So some people did and some people didn't. Don't know what the criteria or basis for that is, but some did and some didn't, okay? Double M said, I saw two identical Walmart ads play back to back. That's just very effective advertising, isn't it? Okay, so then you should technically not see any advertisements on my stream unless I choose to run an ad break. The way it works is there's actually a button on the stream that says insert ad. And when I click it, essentially it'll play like a, a, a minute ad on which if you watch, I make some money. Of course, YouTube makes money on that too. So I should technically be able to control all advertisements during the stream. Once the stream goes offline, usually I do an outro ad break where I'll run a manual ad break as the stream goes offline. And that's it. Um, now, earlier this year, YouTube tried to sneak something in. They have a new thing that they call automatic ad breaks, okay? Now, the way that this works, it's right here. Automatically place mid-roll ads during your stream. By default, mid-rolls are placed to balance viewer experience and creator revenue. Ads are not guaranteed and they are, and not all viewers will get an ad Viewers, viewers served ads will rejoin the stream automatically after the ads are skipped or ended. Okay? So this is an option that YouTube added out of the blue, didn't talk about it, and it appeared out of nowhere in the middle of the year, and I disabled it. Because the first day it went, people were saying, Phil, did you know the ads are just playing randomly in the middle of your gameplay? And I was like, no, what are you talking about? So I looked into it and I found this new option that was on by default. And I was like, why is that on? I didn't turn that on. I want to control ad breaks on my streams, okay? So I disabled it. And now you guys, again, you'll basically just get an ad at the beginning of the stream, ad at the end of the stream, and if I choose to do an ad break, okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hate to tell you, it looks like that might be changing. You ready? I'm reading this word for word that coming in November, changes are coming to live streams. And one of the major changes that I have noticed, all right, 
is this, new mid-roll ad breaks for live streams. To help creators earn while live streaming, creators can opt to have YouTube optimize or self-select mid-roll ads to appear at set intervals during a live stream. Before an ad appears in the live control room, creators will see a 60 second countdown with an option to skip that ad. Soon we're introducing a new delay ads button to delay mid-rolls and live display ads from appearing for 10 minutes. If an ad is skipped or delayed, the insert ads button can be used to manually insert a mid-roll at any time. So from what I mean, from what I'm surmising from that, it sounds like they're trying to force advertisements on streams that they don't feel like they're making enough revenue on live streams and they want more ads on them. So if they're forcing it, all I can do is click delay, delay, delay. If I notice that it's saying, oh, an ad's going to play, I can try to actively delay it. But I guarantee you what's going to end up happening is I'm not going to notice it all the time. I'll be playing a game or I'll be in the middle of the podcast talking with you guys and one's going to sneak in. And it doesn't seem like there's much I can really do about that. I can do my best to try to put it under control. If there is still the option to enable or disable, I'll try to disable. You, as I tell you guys, I don't like monetizing you. I like that if someone wants to actively support my content, they will. Whether it's through a super chat, a super sticker, a membership, a gifted membership, or a tip. I feel like if I'm putting out meaningful content for you, you will, con you will support that content, correct? So you choose to support, not you're forced to support, right? <clears throat> Particularly, as I've said, when we're here on a live stream and during said live stream, I'm doing something meaningful. We're in the middle of a big discussion. There's a big boss fight or something going on in a video game. Do you want to be interrupted with an ad? And by the way, when the ad goes away, you've missed what happened during the ad. It's not like the stream's on pause and then it resumes. No, you missed what actively happened during the ad. So you missed whatever happened live when YouTube decided to just play the ad. That's kind of shitty, isn't it? Now, apparently there's other things too. They're kind of optimization of mid-roll ad breaks on long-form videos, right? Basically, here's the deal. I am not going to go out of my way, all right, to mess with advertisements on videos. I'm just going to let YouTube do what they've always done. They're going to essentially uh, keep uh, putting automatic ads on my videos. I'm not going to change that. Just let them place them where they want. So when you're watching my on-demand videos after the fact, a lot of people say there's a lot of ads on them. I don't put those there. YouTube does, okay? I don't have the time to go back every day and micromanage every video and move ads around, delete ads and, and place ads. I just let YouTube do it with the algorithm, okay? So my apologies if this now sounds like there's going to be even more ads on videos. I, I can't help that. It sounds That's what YouTube wants. And by the way, if you fight against that, YouTube might actually be upset with that. You know, what if YouTube says, well, we determined that your, your, your channel isn't you know generating any revenue for us and now we decided you know you're not in AdSense anymore they could do that you realize that right like they have the right to do that so I kind of have to go along with whatever they want the truth is none of us know actively how this will affect stuff this could affect nothing and maybe everything will just be as it is today or it could be during live streams all of a sudden ads will start playing and I really don't have any control over it to stop it or you know, or maybe I will be able to stop it if I notice it ahead of time, and sometimes I won't be able to notice it. You know, it, we, we won't know till these changes go into effect in November. The funny part is, it's happening right in the middle of the busy gaming season, right? So I think they're kind of doing this on purpose, right? I totally feel like they're doing it, um, you know, because they want to make more money, and they, they feel like they're not making enough profitability on, on the streams particularly, probably. Um, and they know that, you know, November, December is typically the giant months for YouTube. Everyone's watching stuff on YouTube for the holidays and gaming and stuff. That's why they're doing it, right? So, you know, there you have it. Um, there's not much I can do about it. Sorry. Again, if I have control over it, if I notice, I can opt out. If it says pop-ups, hey, disable the ad, I swear to God, I'll try. But I can't make you guys, I don't want, again, just like usual, I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver. I don't want to tell you guys, oh, don't worry, I got a handle on this, I'll take care of it. And the next thing you know, it's out of control and it's out of my hands, right? So, you know, hopefully it's not a huge issue, okay? Truthfully, most of the people who are watching my videos on demand already are my hardcore fan base. I don't get a lot of giant mainstream views on any of my content, being honest. So it's not like 
it's a big deal where people who just happen upon DSP Gaming will start watching the videos, see too many ads, and quit. I don't think that's going to happen. I think everyone who's here has already been here for the long haul and likes the content and accepts the ads. Um, the streams are another thing entirely because, as you know, I love to control what I play on my streams, and I can't overall control it if they're going to be doing stuff like this, right? So I guess we'll see. I'll let you guys know, right? As soon as I know, you'll know what's happening with all of this, and we'll go from there. But for now, hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be a giant change. This is weird. They sent me this giant thing about it this morning, all this, this information. Even when I logged into my YouTube page, it was a big pop-up about it. And I'm like, well, obviously, this is a big thing. They consider it a big change coming up. They want everyone to know about this. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it won't be a big deal and it won't affect anything and, and it won't be a ginormous problem, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the gaming news segment. So, look at that. Not only do we have four gaming news stories, but also we got the pre-order refunded. Well, it's in process of being refunded. I didn't get the money back yet, but it says they did process the refund and now we can get the better version of Mortal Kombat. I would say that is a very productive podcast today. No matter what else happens on this show, that was a very productive podcast, and I'm very proud of all of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> all right. So now here's the deal. Normally, I would say this is the portion of the stream where I do shout-outs. We're going to do shout-outs for contributions. We're going to see what's on your guys' mind today. I'm going to be very grateful, get you guys up on the leaderboard, and, uh, and we'll go from there. However... I received zero contributions. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. The day is young. I'm just kind of emphasizing to be silly. But yeah, nothing has come. No super chats, no memberships, no gifted memberships, no tips. Keep in mind, I didn't do my plug segment. Should I do my usual plug segment? Sure, let's do the shilling segment and get it out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an independent content creator. I don't have any partnerships, sponsorships, paid product placements. I don't play games for money and get paid to play them. I'm here to make honest content with all of you. I have avoided all of this stuff over the years while all my contemporaries have jumped on the paid advertisement bandwagon. I don't do that. I do it for a reason because I want to be truthful and transparent in the content that I put out with you. And that's very different from a lot of everyone else out there who makes a living on YouTube. So if you enjoy the content, please support it in some way. My philosophy is this. If I'm putting out meaningful, fun, and entertaining content for you, you'll hopefully go above and beyond to support said content to keep it as shill-free as possible. Fair enough? So that being said, here's the ways you can support the stream. Liking the streams for engagement. Leaving comments on videos for engagement. Liking a video for engagement. Okay? A super chat or a super sticker during a live stream. A super thanks on a video you're enjoying after the fact watching on demand. Becoming a channel member, which is huge. You get so many cool benefits, including a chat crown badge to show how long you've been a supporter. Ignoring all the slow mode rules of the chat and being able to talk as much as you want. Access to a ridiculous amount of emotes here on the channel. In addition, priority to many different special events coming up. You know, we're going to have all these seasonal events like a, a Halloween marathon, an Adpocalypse Black Friday marathon, a Christmas event. And you will have priority to be a part of those events, nominate things, and have a good time with all of us here live. It's going to be a great thing if you're a member. So, if you're already a member, perhaps you'd like to gift some memberships to the community. There's tons of people here who would absolutely enjoy having a membership, particularly over the course of this next coming month, because that would allow them to have access to all those fun features when I'm playing all the high-priority big new releases. So, either consider becoming a member if you're not one, <clears throat> or possibly consider gifting memberships to the community. All right. Thank you in advance to anyone who contributes in any way. Now, also, a tip is a great way to contribute, and here's why. Sending a contribution to my PayPal directly, number one... I get it immediately. It can be used for a bill. It can be used for food. It can be used to buy the upgrade of Mortal Kombat. It could be used for anything. And that's the cool thing to have that freedom with those funds. Other contribution methods have like a delay before I see anything. Tips I get right away. Number two, I actually get a bigger portion of tips than I do of other contribution methods. Particularly, it's not a huge deal. I say, hey, contribute however you'd like. I appreciate all of that. But since tips are immediate help, I do have reward tiers for tips. Like, Gunner glasses at 50 bucks. You choose a silly hat for me to wear if we raise $100 during any particular stream, and a vest if we raise 150 bucks. So, please consider contributing in one of those ways. 
during the course of today's stream. Thank you in advance. You know, it was a great thing to maybe hit it on a couple different fronts. Some super chats, some memberships, some tips is always good, a good mix, right? Thanks to anyone who contributes in any way. I really appreciate it. Thanks in advance. All right. Now, in the meantime, I did receive a couple of super chats from uh, Dragon Lord Gusidisax. <clears throat> First one says, here you go, Phil. And the second one says, I don't have much left, but I'll give what I can. Again, it's not about one person going crazy. It's never been about that. It's always about the community, right? Everyone coming together. People are like, wow, you know, or once in a while I can contribute to Phil and keep him going. That's what it's about. That's why I have longevity. 15 years. I'm still here making this kind of content. While a lot of my contemporaries have had to completely change who they are, change their content. People went from being product reviewers to drama queens, right? People went from being, I, I play games for passion to I literally only play what people pay me to play. I'm not like that. And I'm very happy about that. I, I'm proud that 15 years on YouTube, I'm still true to who I am, okay? So cheers to that. And thank you to all the people along the way who have supported me and allowed me to do that. Dragon Lord, right now, you are the person today allowing me to do that. So thank you, Dragon Lord G, for the super chats. I really, really appreciate them. All right, well, nothing else has come in. Do you only do private Patreon reacts once a month? I noticed you did them just recently. Do I have to wait for next month if I would like one done? It all depends. Allow me to ex extrapolate upon this a little bit. I don't, I very rarely address this. I almost never talk about my Patreon. Do you guys even know I have a Patreon? You see what I mean? Of all the people out there who say I constantly talk about income, how little do I actually mention these things? <laughs> Most people don't even know I have a Patreon, okay? So first of all, <clears throat> I do have a Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. But I literally never mention it. It's more of a legacy way to support me from people who used to support me back in the day before I became a full-time streamer. Since I became a full-time streamer, most support comes in during streams, so that's what I focus on. Now, if you're interested, you could go check it out. I'll be honest with you. There's pretty much almost no rewards on there. It's not like it used to be where I had tiered rewards that were important. Like I said, almost everything I do is focused on streams. But there is one reward tier that still works. It's the $50 reward tier, okay? If you pledge 50 bucks to my Patreon, you're entitled to a private video. Now, this video could be whatever you want. If you want to just talk with me for 20 minutes and do a QA, and a maybe do almost like a, a private cameo video where I talk about certain topics for you, I'll do that. I actually did that before Cameo existed. I was doing this back in 2015 before anyone knew what Cameo was. And for 50 bucks, instead of the hundreds of dollars that a lot of these B, C, D list celebrities charge, mine's way cheaper. Okay, so for a while I was doing that and people liked it, but then basically when I became an interactive streamer, a lot of people were like, nah, I'll just ask them a question online, okay? So because of that, uh, a lot of the people's interest in that has waned. But then last year I started doing React content and some people suggested, hey, why don't you do private React videos where you'll react to a certain topic or subject or video in particular for you know a private video, would you consider doing that on your Patreon, and I said, sure, why not? So for 50 bucks, you basically get about a 20 minute private react video from me. And you can suggest a video or videos for me to watch, and I'll do it. I've been doing this for about a year and a half. I like doing it. Uh, at one point, it was very popular, and then it, again, it kind of waned, where I guess some people kind of saw what they wanted to see. They're not too interested. I still get a few a month. Like I get two or three a month where people request this, all right? Now, the way I usually do it is people will want it at the beginning of the month, and my Patreon charges at the very beginning of every month. So, so a lot of people will say, okay, I want one video a month. So they pledge 50 bucks a month to my Patreon and then it clears on the first and then they send me what they want and then I make that video within the first few days of the month and then I'm done till the next month, all right? But if someone was interested in a private React video, say, you know, middle of the month and they wanted to reach out to me about it, what I would say is email me, darksidephil at hotmail.com. Say, hey, I'm interested in this private React. Here's what I would like. Here's the video or videos that it entails. Please run it by me, especially if it's something that you're not sure if I would be interested in doing. I don't have to accept every private React request. You understand that. So let's talk about it first, determine if it's something I'm interested in, also figure out when I would have time to do it. Because let's say, for example, it's one video. Well, a 20-minute video, I could squeeze in anywhere, all right? I can do it between a stream. But if you want me to do like two, three videos or an hour or more, then I got to find a time to do it that makes sense. And I don't want to, again, over-promise and under-deliver. I don't want people pledging to my Patreon for videos and then get, not getting them for weeks and weeks, okay? So, 
please email me if you're interested in something like that. So Abraham, if you're thinking about a private React video, something interesting to you, let's talk about it via email. We'll go from there. Fair enough? Excellent. Thank you. Thanks for even inqu inquiring about it. Almost no one ever does. So it's nice to talk about that from time to time. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting and good question. Comet Frenzy says, do you get anything extra for being a patron member? What's the difference between a private React video and an ultra member submission on DSP Reacts? So first of all, what's extra for being a patron member? It depends. Honestly, basically pledging to my Patreon is just a way to support without being interacting on the stream. So maybe you're someone who watches all my content on demand on YouTube and you just want a way to support, and, and, you know, rather than just watching the vids. Pledging to my Patreon every month is a way to do that. That's literally it, okay? Um, now, the difference between a private Patreon React video and the Ultra Member video on DSP Reacts, very different, actually. What does he mean? Well, I do a show once a week. It's called DSP versus the Internet. That's on my React channel, DSP Reacts. If you become the Ultra Member over there, that's 20 bucks. okay? You're guaranteed to get a video watched once a week on that show. However, number one, the videos are clips, not long-form videos. Okay, remember, on that show, I've got to get through literally 60 plus submissions in one week. Ultra members usually have 10 to 15 videos submitted. <clears throat> Although I'm guaranteed to watch the video, I'm not guaranteed to watch the whole thing. A lot of these videos submitted are 20 minutes long and I watch three, four minutes of them, you see? So when you are an ultra member, you're guaranteed to get part of your video watched, but not the whole thing. If it doesn't interest me, I'm not going to keep watching it. If it's too long, I'm not going to keep watching it, right? That's the pro that's the, the deal there. It's a clip show, all right? If you do a private React request on my Patreon, first of all, it's $50, but you're guaranteed that I'm watching the whole thing. That's the point. I'm watching the entire video from start to finish. I'm reacting to the entire thing, and that video becomes your legal property. You have purchased that video. When you do an ultra member submission for the clip show, that's my property. That's my show. All right? So I'm watching your video, but it's still for me. When you do a Patreon private video, that's your video. I, I send you the link. You can do whatever you want. You can download it. You can re-upload it. You can edit it. You do whatever you want. It's your legal property. You want to upload it to your channel, get views, make money, monetize it. That's your prerogative. You can do that. That's the difference. You're purchasing a private React video on my Patreon. You're basically getting me to watch a video for my own show. Uh, and it's not guaranteed to be a full form React for the React uh, clip show every week. That's very different. <clears throat> okay. By the way, I got to split the part. I'm sure all of you watching on demand are having a riveting time with this because this is just groundbreaking gameplay right now. Super fun. Anyway, <clears throat> let's uh, split the part here. Wow. By the way, I haven't checked. Let me see here something. Yes, I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. Thank you to One Minute Man. I appreciate that. Biggest contribution of the day. Sorry, I'm not having fun because I was having fun and then I had to do this nonsense. And this is the most unfun thing ever. Okay, guys, please support the stream. Anything is appreciated. Likes, super chats, memberships, tips. Please support it. We have two more hours left, okay? Thank you. Please support in some way. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so guys, we're continuing on with this nightmare of shipbuilding. By the way, we did hit 100 likes today. I'll do a bubble blow for you guys. Thank you guys for the uh, engagement today. Sorry for the rage earlier trying to do the shipbuilding bullshit. It really is bad. Like, that's really badly done. I don't know why they built. They did it like that. And apparently I did it wrong because I could have done it a way that would have done what I wanted, yet the game doesn't explain anything, right? All right, anyway. Thank you for the engagement. Appreciate that. 
Any support would be appreciated. It's been pretty darn slow today, sadly. I don't know what happened. Yesterday was the opposite. Yesterday, people were pretty uh, excited and uh, engaged in the game and, and uh, very supportive. Today's the opposite. So I don't know what's going on with this game, quite frankly. I mean, that's kind of why I decided to play it twice because it seemed like you guys were dying, were, were really digging it yesterday. Uh, but I don't know. You tell me. Today, we got way less viewers for some reason. I don't know. I, I, it's just unpredictable at this point, right? Am I bleeding? Why do I have a little thing that looks like bleed? But it's not, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. I received a $9 tip. Thank you so much, whoever this is. Uh, Canadian Kerr. Have you seen the movie 8 Mile? You know everything I'm about to say against you. You're like you're Italian. You live in an upper middle class gated community in the suburb of Seattle. Is that your best friend, John Rambo? Did he shoot himself in the nuts in the Call of Duty? I've never seen 8 Mile, so if all of that was a reference, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never seen the movie 8 Mile. I know that, that it's the uh, the Eminem movie, but I've never actually seen it. So, I think that you just... It went completely over my head. But thank you for the $9 tip. That will get us up to 40 bucks in tips with 10 to go to hit our Tier 1 tips goal. It sure would be great if we can at least hit a Tier 1 tips goal today on the stream. Thank you. I'm also being told that apparently people are saying my leaderboard is blending in. Uh, Snurf G did a super test says if you flirt with her, she has a great companion quest line. Uh, great. Good for her. I'm going to assume you can probably get companion quest lines without flirting, by the way. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, usually, at least in uh, Bethesda games, the whole romances are the optional part, but you could still have the companion quest. So... I'm pretty sure you don't have to do that. Okay. Thank you for the super chat. Like I said, let's split the part. Jade says that guy looked like Keanu Reeves. Well, he was Irish, redheaded, but... Okay. All right, let's split the part here. Here we go. Okay, by the way, I want to stretch my legs a little bit, too, since I've been sitting here for two straight hours. So let's do that. And uh, again, guys, thank you to anyone who supported. So far, we got a few super chats. We got one new member, and we got 40 bucks in tips. Now, guys, it would be great if we could hit the $50 tips goal. All right? We don't, I hate to say it, we just don't hit the big tip skulls anymore. It's very rare if we even hit a tier two tip skull, right? But hopefully what, what I hope to do is between the both streams that I do in a day to try to hit like the tier one tip skull at least once out of the two and hopefully maybe between the two hit like a tier two if you add them together. Uh, it's been rough these last couple of weeks. I don't know what's going on because um, it actually was quite good over the summer and then all of a sudden it kind of slowed down. So if you like the content, if you could support it in some way, again, liking the stream, super chat, membership, tip, all appreciated. Let me just stretch my legs here. Ooh. Oh. Ouch. Oh, my legs are cracking. Oh, I knew it. I hadn't moved in over two hours. Like, I got to stretch. Ooh. 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 Oh, man. stretch Oof. okay all right guys one more hour before we uh, adjourn but this has been it's been good outside of the shipbuilding again the game is good right we're exploring these new worlds it's interesting it's the shipbuilding that sucked outside of that it's been good so okay here we go I give them all righty so let's talk to May and find out what this red mile thing is ah, a new face oh god I wonder is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Uh, I guess what we will do next time is we will continue uh, on with this quest line because I am out of time please. for now. Let's actually do a hard save here. And when we play again this weekend, <clears throat> we'll continue on with the quest line. See, this stuff is where Bethesda excels. These kind of narrative-based quests with interesting choices, this is where they do a great job with everything, right? But all the things they tried to veer from what they're good at, right? They really fail. The space travel isn't very good. The space combat isn't very good. The shipbuilding isn't very good. The graphics... <laughs> but when they focus on, here's some interesting narrative and story, it's good, right? So I'm actually really enjoying 
these missions. And I feel like this is where the meat of the game will probably be spent, is doing these kind of cool missions and seeing what Bethesda wrote for us to enjoy with these choices. Um, but man, it's weird that everything else they tried doesn't seem very good. I, you know, I'm just being honest, is the more I play the game, you know, now we are a good uh, 11 hours, 12 hours in, I want to say. And that's just my honest feelings. You can disagree, but man, I was disappointed when we tried to customize that ship and it was like so ridiculously non-self-explanatory on how to do it. Why not just make it easy to do? No, you got to know all these little weird snapping on nuances and things are hidden over here and over there. It's like, what the hell? They couldn't figure this out that a common person could just jump right in. It's intuitive. There's nothing intuitive about it, right? Um, I'm really disappointed with the graphics. Still, my biggest disappointment is the graphics. Like, I feel like everything else I can learn. It's a little frustrating, but I'll learn. But the graphics aren't going to get any better, right? I do feel like <laughs> the graphics are the biggest disappointment for me when it comes to the choppiness and everything. But, all right. Anyway, I'm excited to play more this weekend, and I will continue to play this. It's going to be a, a main stream that I balance for at least for another week. So thank you all. It's been a great stream today, and the streams have been good up to this point. I've really enjoyed the game, uh, regardless of some of the things that I feel are shortcomings. So thank you guys for chilling with me today, and thanks to those who did support the stream in any way. And I'll see you this weekend for more Starfield fun as we continue on with the Paradiso quest line. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> okay. Guys, good stuff. I hope you guys have been enjoying. And uh, good stuff. I'm not going to take a break. Dinner time, uploading. Tonight on the late stream, it's Street Fighter VI. And if you guys remember, it is a new character, Luke. We're actually going to go back to Luke for the first time in ages and try him in ranked gameplay tonight. So I hope you'll come back 6.45 p.m. Pacific time for Luke gameplay tonight. I'm not here tomorrow. When I come back on Friday, it'll be Armor Core Six and more Street Fighter. And then this will continue uh, on Saturday. Okay? Saturday daytime stream. All right? So thank you all. Hope to see you tonight for Street Fighter. All right? Peace out, guys. Enjoy the break. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, yeah. Typically, he'll see more than anything.